I've seen this SEO tool everywhere for the last couple of months. It's been all over Twitter and in multiple SEO newsletters. So I simply had to try it out. And it's super simple. It's an AI copywriting tool to generate SEO optimized content. The tool is KW Hero and it's super simple. And I like that they have kept the focus on one thing, generating SEO optimized content using AI. But let me show you how simple it is to generate a piece of content using the AI, which is SEO optimized with NLP terms and much more. First up, you'll have to create a content plan. And this can be treated as your main page in a topical cluster. And then for each content plan, you can add multiple keywords, which are your subtopics. And for each keyword, you can run a content analysis. And this is the way that you build it up. And I really like that you can actually see your entire topical map with all of your clusters in this way. It's super simple and it just works. When you generate a content analysis, it pulls all of its research from the Google SERP. Here it pulls all the competitors and check what NLP terms are they ranking for? What are they writing in their content? And then suggest you to follow some of the same patterns. And it takes a little bit of time to run the content analysis, but once it's done, you can then start generating your content or write your content manually. And I've tried both methods and both methods works great. But using AI is a simple two-step process. First, when the content analysis is done, then you go in and you generate your outline. And this outline is based on the SERP again. All of the AI generated content and the outline also is based on research. That's why the content is really good. So once you have your outline, you can then generate content based on your outline. And then you have your AI article. But there are some problems. I generated a blog post on how to add tables to a WordPress post. And I kept it super simple. I didn't change anything because I wanted to see how the AI would do. And when you generate content, you can change things such as tone of voice, perspective, but you can also work on some more customized things. For example, you can say that this one needs to be AI pass free. That means that AI can't detect that the content has been generated by AI. You can add custom prompts and you should really do this. So here you can add your own experience. In this case with WordPress tables, I could add some of my own tips that I have learned when I have worked with WordPress tables because Maybe it's not out on the web and by me adding it in the custom prompt, then the AI will ensure to include it in the content and then my content becomes more unique. You can also enable NLP terms and to scrape fresh content. And I would really recommend you do this because the more of these things that you do and adding custom prompts, the more unique your content will be in the end. And that's what we want with AI. But you still need to treat this as a draft. Because once you generate this piece of content, you can take it and publish it, but I don't recommend doing that. I recommend that you read through it and then you add your own expertise, you add images or whatever it is that's missing. Every time you feel the content is a bit thin, then you fill it out with your expertise and experience. But I read through my entire AI generated article and I did find some issues. First off, the intro is just too long and it's not split it up enough. So what I found was a lot of the paragraphs, including the intro, they're too long. I like to keep them in two, max three sentences, but I also like to keep them in maximum two and a half lines when we have a viewport that's 700 pixels. And that is how my blog is. And here they're just too long. I could add in the custom prompt that I don't want the paragraphs to be longer than two and a half lines or maybe maximum two sentences. And then it would respect that. And that's why these custom prompts are so important. And throughout the content, I'm missing images, lists, and bolded words where it takes the important part of a sentence and then bold important part. These things makes it easier to read and it's really lacking right now. I also don't have the ability to add videos or internal link building. For example, with Koala, which is another AI copywriting tool, you can upload your sitemap and then Koala, when generating content, will automatically link to your other blog post. So this is something you really save time on. And when I look at the structure of my blog post, then the sections are okay. There are two sections which are a bit redundant that I would merge together. But I really like that compared to the SERP, I'm offering tips. I'm offering use cases on how and what you could use tables for with WordPress in your content. So I'm adding something extra to the SERP, which is super important. Of course, I could go a bit step further and add my own personal images that I've made myself or taken myself and my own expertise as well to make the article even better. But overall, it's a great start. The last feature I was missing was a way of adding an FAQ section. And even though Google can't decide whether they want to show the FAQs or not in the SERP, 
I would like to have the option because it's an easy way for people to get an answer fast on a specific question. And here I couldn't really do that. I could force it by adding FAQ manually in the outline and then add the questions below. But it's just a bit of a long process to do that when we're using AI already. So overall, super impressed with the content. It's easy to read. It contains a lot of information and it goes a step further than what we see in the SERP. So I would actually recommend using this if you're not using Koala or similar already. And on the right side, you have all of your research, average word count and headings that you need to use. We also have NLP terms, both that you need to use in headings and in your content. And I do say need, but this is still guidance. So follow this, not to the letter, but follow it as guidance and as inspiration to your content. You can also in the right bar, choose what competitors you want to compare your content to. And each competitor has a domain strength and a content score strength. And of course, go with the content score and a high domain strength doesn't mean that the content is good. So I usually use the content score, but I would like to see more information in this bar from the competitors, what questions are asked in the SERP and on other forums and much more. I would like it to be jam packed with information that I can use in my content. So I don't have to leave KW Hero to write my content. I can simply look in the research tab. So does KW Hero really live up to the hype? Personally, I'm really in doubt because it does generate great content, but I have no images list. I have no formatted text tables and no internal links. So while it generates great content, it's a very raw draft and it requires a lot of attention from a human to make it better and to make it actually rank in the SERP. So if you just need an AI copywriting tool as a start, I would recommend it. It does write great content. But personally, I would still use Koala if I had to generate AI content. You can try KW Hero for free and from there it costs $59 per month for 10 articles. So around $6 per article, which is not the cheapest, but not the most expensive either. It's right in between. And I think it's still a great draft, a great start to have when you're writing your content. And I know they're also working on much more information, many more features such as keyword research, the possibility to published directly to WordPress and so much more. So a lot of features are coming and I think at its current price point, it's definitely worth it. It's still super cheap paying $6 for an article. It can be done cheaper, but with the flow and the way you can slowly build up a topical map by using this simple overview in KW Hero, it's definitely worth it. But I want to give KW Hero three and a half stars. It's lacking a lot of features, but the core content is really high quality. And if you want to see my review of Koala, which is my preferred AI copywriting tool, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.